everybody. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Happy Friday, everybody. Yes. Hello. We are live and we have a special guest today. Yes, this is Friday Live with Husbands That Cook. Yes. And we are here with the wonderful, the great, the talented. <laughs> Ski in, everybody. Hi. Hello. We're neighbors. And guys, um, we're also, we're, so we're live on both. on both. We're on my Instagram as well. And it's really hard to see the comments on my Instagram, but it's much easier to see it on theirs. But yes, uh, <laughs> these guys, Husbands That Cook, we are live and oh, wow. um, we're going to be cooking up a very beautiful dish. Yes, yes. we are yeah. going to be making a beautiful dish today. We are making a dish from Donald's website. It is called roasted aubergine with herb and green salad. Yeah. And it's this, fantastic. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And we can personally vouch for this. Yes, because, because uh, in May, we had a dinner over at the house and they brought this dish. Yes. And it was devoured by everybody at the table. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, went down very well. I was, I was quite excited about that. I can that. still taste it. I can still <laughs> taste it. <laughs> I really can. I'm so I still, it was a lot of garlic. That was what the problem was. <laughs> garlic is always the key. Uh, but we even had people at that table who were not eggplant fans. Yes. And they, loved it. Yes, now two things, because I know a lot of people from Ireland will be watching oh, yes. on mine. They're going to give it to you for saying my name. It's Donal. Donal. There Donal, you go. Donal. Donal. And they're also going to give, give it to you for Aubergine. saying... Aubergine. There you go. Aubergine. <laughs> yeah, I've learned. Okay, so Aubergine, I know that um, courgette is yes. zucchini. Zucchini, uh, yeah, yeah. There's a couple different names. So, yes. <laughs> so, apologies for my butchering pronunciation. <laughs> it's quite alright. We, we have to do these things, otherwise they're going to give out. <laughs> have you ever heard of a before you moved out here? Yes, because yeah. like you, in, when you're when you live in Ireland and you know if you're in that sort of region, we grow up with those sorts of um, those those Americanisms. You uh -huh. know, like they're on Washington they're on TV, TV and yes. the movies and right. everything like that. So yeah. I knew eggplant parmigiana. And right. Okay. Like that, so, yeah. so you would call it aubergine. We would call it aubergine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Which is probably. Yeah. I did see. I have to say, I have to shout out to uh, Cravings. Christine commented. She said that she can vouch for this dish as well. Because she was there. She <laughs> was there at the dinner. <laughs> Yes, and uh, I see Visual Jungle. My pal yeah. Connor is over on Husband. Yeah, very hello. cool. How are you, hey, um, Eric? Yeah. This is very exciting. This is the first like proper Instagram live I've done. So the, the it. guys have made me do it. So I love yes, it. I love everybody. <laughs> well, it's it's super fun. So for anybody who doesn't know, um, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. This is Adam. And I'm Donal. Donal, yes. <laughs> and uh, we're uh, in Eagle Rock, California, which is just north of downtown LA. We're actually neighbors. We are. So it was super convenient for him to come over today. And uh, we're really excited. Yeah, it literally took us what eight minutes to drive here, so it's very <laughs> it, convenient. It did take us a few months to get him here because he's been so busy. So he's been busy, in yes. Asia for a few months, so <laughs> yes. we're so happy that it finally worked out and yes. he's in town. Yes. I actually feel like I don't live in Eagle Rock because I, <laughs> I've been here so little of the time. Sophie is Sophie's far more an Eagle Rock head than I yes. am. So <laughs> yes, and I'm sorry, I'm seeing like we. I have to do this to see my comments. So there's loads of lovely hearts coming in. Uh, hello from the UK. Hi Ryan. Oh. Uh, uh, hi from That's Zurich. Cool. Very cool. Very um, cool. Zurich. So, will we, will we get cooking? Yes, let's, get let's start, start cooking. Okay. So I like the fact that you have taken over my recipe. And <laughs> I, I like the fact that, you know, because the guys have been basically preparing for, for the recipe so All morning. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't slept. Did I, I saw a, pi a picture of like an aubergine being sliced. Was that, that, was this, that this morning? morning. Okay. We woke up this morning early, we took the picture and we started prepping for the show. Oh yeah. yeah. We're yeah. very organized. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. <laughs> I actually, like it, as a recipe, this is one of the, the most easy ways you can, you can it treat an aubergine. sure is. It's very handy. Oh, oh we have to just slice it up. That's easy. Yeah. Um, so we we have a quite large aubergine or eggplant here. Yes. We're just gonna slice it into a, you know, some thick slices. Yes. I got very excited when I posted this on Instagram earlier because I got to use the eggplant emoji. Ah, <laughs> yes. in, in a, uh, in a, in a proper, proper in a proper uh, sense, proper yes, sense. For, <laughs> for real reasons. We all know what the eggplant emoji is really useful. Yes, of course we do. So this is a fantastic recipe. <laughs> Sorry, Sophie's shaking her head in the corner. She's like, so disappointed in me. Look at the smut I brought to your Instagram live. I'm no, so it's, sorry. Well, it's when you get three boys together. It's okay. <laughs> Potty mouth. It's okay. So if you guys want the full recipe, mm -hmm. you can go to donaldstein.com. Yes. The entire thing is up there on his website, and uh, it's fantastic. Yes. If you guys can make it this weekend, uh, you will not be disappointed. Yes. yes. I love it. I love it. It's very good. So I've mm -hmm. uh, just cut the aubergine or eggplant into yep. slices about like this. Um, now I'm gonna just score the tops of them a little bit, and while I do that, do you guys want to make the sauce? Yes, sure, go for it. The oh. sauce or the dressing? Oh, the dressing. Sorry, the um, the olive oil, garlic, and ras 
Uh, Raz and Lenut. Yes, you want to talk about that for some Yes, so th- very interesting. You know, this is a fantastic spice mix. It's, it's North African, I think. Yes, I'm pretty mm, sure. It uh, and it's a wonderful combination of all sorts of things like the toasted cumin and yes. cinnamon. And actually, you can buy this very handily in most supermarkets these days. But if you want to make it, you know, the extra special and then take it to a new level, do what Ryan did this morning, which is actually make it himself. So what did you do to make your Raz and Lenut? <laughs> well, I went on Google. Very good. That was step one. Because Donald Skeen's website tells you to buy it in the supermarket. So, <laughs> so I googled the spice um, and a lot of things came up. Um, so yeah, like he said, it's, it's a blend. So uh, I believe this one was, it had cumin, uh, a little salt, uh, cinnamon, allspice, cloves, uh, cayenne. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's the sort of thing else. as well, like you can, you know, if you have all these sorts of spices in your store cupboard for, you know, sitting on the shelves, waiting for their moment of glory, you can actually make a spice mix like this up and keep it in its own separate jar. So it's a very handy thing to have. Um, and I always have full intentions to do those sorts of things and I never <laughs> ever <laughs> get around to them. But actually, I, I'm uh, at the moment, we were just talking about this before we went live, that I'm slightly, um, I'm kind of in nesting mode because we're expecting our first uh, our first child at the moment. Very exciting. So, uh, so Sophie's sitting in the corner, nine months pregnant and waiting, <laughs> waiting for us to, to crack on with the recipe. But I have to say, like it's I don't know, Sophie's had like one or two cravings and stuff, but the one thing that I find um, is that like as a man and as a cook, you want to nest, you want to cook things, you want to make things and freeze things and right. make spice blends and put them in <laughs> jars and things like that. So it's uh, it's fun. It, it is, is fun. It is fun. And plus, then you can sort of customize it yourself, make it a little spicier if you want, make yeah. it less spicy. We should do one um, of those Indian spice vegetables that we've been doing. So every oh, night yes. for the past few weeks, we've been making these fantastic roasted vegetables with garam masala and curry and garlic powder. And all okay. We should make a mix of that stuff. So yes, that would be good. I okay. And when, and when I can't cook and I'm too busy, tired, feeding a baby, that's when you drop those things over because you know we're only eight minutes exactly. away, okay? Yes, <laughs> we will come by with lots of deliveries of, good, good. of savory things, maybe some sweets. We yeah. promise to, uh, to take good care of you. Guys. You all heard it. You yeah. all heard it. I'm going to hold them to it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, and, it, and like we were saying, she is due at later this month, but really, I mean, this is a live show. I mean, anything could happen. Anything could happen. In the next few minutes. Don't say that. <laughs> I, need a, I need that baby to stay in for at least another three weeks, it's for the goodness sake. your birthday. Yes. It's due on the 23rd. <laughs> His birthday's on the 22nd. So. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, growing up in the United States, we obviously celebrated Thanksgiving all the time. Mm-hmm. So my birthday's right around Thanksgiving. It was frequently on Thanksgiving. Right. And it, um, it, always, was, it was always fun because people were getting together anyway for, you know, a big celebration. And I always like it because I sort of felt like, oh, people are there for my birthday. See, you know, now birthday, I, birthday pie. Uh, birthday pie. Oh, birthday pie. Okay. <laughs> I worry about this for him, you know, or for the for the baby when you when they arrive. Like, I feel like it's going to be one of those things that they will always be having their birthday around kind of Christmas time, mm-hmm. around the time where you know people have already kind of thought of gifts for Christmas. So yeah, I'm I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, someone said maybe I should join as an OBGYN just in case. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we have a doctor in the house. We have a doctor in the house. If needed. Yes, we're all fine. And I did see somebody uh, a minute ago asked about the spice blend. They, they missed oh, the yes. name. So uh, it's Ras El Hanu. Beautiful. Mm. Uh, so it's three words. First word R A S. Second word E L. Third word H A N O U T. I believe. Beautiful. Yes, that's exactly um, it. Yes. So uh, yeah, if you if you Google it, it will come up, and you can get the. Um, Get the yeah. So, as you can see, that we just uh, sliced up these eggplants mm-hmm. and our aubergines, and uh, <laughs> Donald or Donal uh, <laughs> mix it up in this lovely bowl with the spices and this lovely sauce. Um, yes. It smells fantastic. It does smell mm-hmm. wonderful. Yes. And actually, like this, that spice mix, it's such a heady mix that it works really well on any roast vegetable. If you you mm. wanted to use it over a uh, sweet potato, it works mm. really gorgeous as well. So there's like there's plenty of options with this. And actually, this salad, especially around this time of year when you have like butternut squash and pumpkin and That's things right. like that, it's the perfect thing to roast yes. it up in. So yes, because it does have a little bit of that sort of autumn spice feel. It has yeah. those, like warm spices. And, yeah, it's absolutely perfect. So we are going to put this in our special oven <laughs> and uh, cook it while we prepare the we other We have components. a Hollywood oven here. Uh, we, we live close what? to Hollywood. We are in the home of entertainment. <laughs> so you need to have a special oven that'll cook your food in seconds. And yes. that's exactly what we're gonna do. 
right before your very eyes. We're gonna cook these eggplants in a matter of yeah. seconds. I feel like there needs to be a magic Second. word. Here or we go. <laughs> Boom. Here's how it's done. It's very exciting. Uh, yes, oh. and it's hot. Ooh, it's hot. hot. Wow. 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 Look at oh, that. that. Look at that. Perfect Hollywood roasted. magic. Perfectly roasted. <laughs> Oh. Now, for those of you watching at home, you can't see this, but these are so soft. Mm -hmm. um, my biggest, um, well, note with, with aubergines or eggplants, sometimes, if they're not prepared correctly, sometimes they can be chewy or rubbery mm -hmm. or sort of undercooked, but these are cooked perfectly. They're roasted in the oven. Melt in your mouth. Yes. Creamy. Oh, yes. Perfect. So, so, so good. They need to be. And so they're going to cook for about 25 minutes and yes, they're going to regular. Cook, yeah, just until they're not. Yeah, if you don't have a Hollywood magic oven, you can, you can get one of these and they're beautiful. So 25 minutes, uh, 200 degrees Celsius. What's that in Fahrenheit? I believe it was 395, okay. 400 approximately. Right, yes. right. Look at us yes. bringing all the American Irishisms right to us. Brilliant. It's like just shining happy people holding hands, bringing <laughs> the world together. Exactly. Through food. From Eagle Rock, California. Yes, Here exactly. we go. Um, so look, these are beautifully yes. done. So we yep. can then make the uh, maybe the yogurt. Yes. Sure. And the, so this is like I get a little bit excited, and this actually I think is what sells it to anyone who oh, isn't really so you know uh, a huge this aubergine fan. Yes. This is a tahini uh, yogurt, which is spectacular. I've mm. completely robbed it from a fantastic chef called Tomar Ahmedi from the Palomar restaurant in uh, London. So, okay. And he is one of my favorite chefs and uh, I've cooked with him a few times on the show I do over in, in London called Saturday Kitchen. Mm. And he is, he's shared this with me. He is, he's just so much fun to cook with. And uh, he's given me this recipe because it's just wonderful. You can use it over a whole host of things. Mm. And what's brilliant about it is it's that combination of yogurt and tahini. So you have that sort of earthiness that you get from that roasted uh, tahini paste. And then you get that kind of cut of acidity from the yogurt. Mm -hmm. And it's that combination that is like t poured over the aubergines that just makes a really wonderful it's mix. It's so good. Did you guys hear that? That was my stomach rally. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hollywood stomach yeah. <laughs> that comes on every now and then. Um, so we're going to add a little bit of the TV into the yogurt. Yes. I hope it's the right amounts. I, t I tend to be like the anchor man of cooking. Whatever's in front of me is going in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we mentored it out before you came. Perfect. Yes, and I see um, Emma Morris said, Palomar is my all-time fave. Said at the bar and hung out with that guy in April. Oh, Amazing. Nice. Oh, cool. Good on you, Emma. That is, that's, it's fantastic experience. If you've been to London or if you're going to London, book yourself in at the Palomar. It is absolutely wonderful. Will do. Um, so we've got, we're going in here with a little bit of lemon juice as well. Mm. You really, because the yogurt tends to be a little bit acidic, you want to make sure that you taste as you go with something okay. like this. So I'm going to start off with the, the juice of half, um, a lemon, and then a little hint of some sea salt mm. and some black pepper. Wow. Now, I, I think I've changed the recipe a little bit and I'm going to add the garlic <laughs> into this sauce. Do it. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. It's up to you, but I think we're going to add a little bit of garlic into the Let's, sauce. You got to. Okay. One thing about us is there's never too much garlic. <laughs> never, ever, ever. If a recipe says, if we look at a recipe and it says call for one clove of garlic, that's a suggestion. Really? Add <laughs> a zero next to exactly. that. Well, I would agree with you because I, if you're going to go to the effort of like peeling a garlic clove or taking it off the head, I am always in the mindset that I would just rather do a few more. Yeah, exactly. Until until I got to Italy, one thing I noticed when you go to Italy, really? the, the nonnas in Italy get very upset if you add too much garlic. And one of the great tips they gave me was if you're using garlic in a recipe, um, that you take the whole clove mm -hmm. in the skin mm -hmm. and you fry it in the oil, and then you take it out. So it's actually given the flavor of the garlic oh, without the astringency. Nice. So yeah, I mean, Very interesting. that's if you're only trying to appease Italian grandmothers. Yeah. If not, <laughs> whole head of garlic in there and you'd be fine. We've done that with a simple marinara sauce. We've taken yes. a, a, a green pepper okay. and yes. just uh, boil it with the sauce. But we don't use it, we don't chop it up. We take out the green pepper when it's done. It has the flavor of the bell pepper within mm -hmm. the marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. so okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. right, Same right. concept. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Sort of infuse the flavor without uh, Without oh, overwhelming chunk it. Making chunky yes. bits. I was going to taste it, but taste then I tell, it. Oh, yeah, But then great. if I uh, like do a thing, uh, it's not television. No one will care. No we go around. We're all friends if here. He's so. gonna do it, <laughs> we're all we're triple dipping. Let's not get into that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, oh, that tahini is wonderful. Um, so somebody just mm. asked if there's any replacement for the yogurt for vegans. Uh huh. Um, uh, Jamie Mac. 
I actually about that for a minute. You could. I, mean, I wonder if you did like a veganese, you know, like a, or veganese. Or... Yeah, you. It wouldn't be quite as tangy. Yeah. So there is a dressing because actually I ran into this problem the other night where I wanted to make something similar to this, but I didn't have the yogurt to the tahini dressing. So mm -hmm. there is a way you can do this very easily. You're going to take um, a little bit of the tahini. You're going to cut it with the lemon juice, just like we have. We're right. going to whisk it together with yep. some extra virgin olive oil and get it to a place that it is. And the one thing that when you use tahini is it's quite a thick thing. Yes. And um, so what I do is just to loosen it out is a touch, like a tablespoon of water and you'll get a really nice loose dressing. Mm -hmm. So you won't get as, you know, as thick and voluptuous as this sauce is, yep. but what you will get left with is something that's, dr that is drizzle, 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 drizzle. Totally a word. There you go. So um, <laughs> it's not exactly like the sauce, but you will get a dressing instead. So okay. that's, that's, that's the way you can approach it if you're vegan. Great question. Yeah. Great answer. And I'm sure there's plenty of vegan chefs out there who might have a solution for the yogurt, but uh, I'm not one of them. <laughs> yeah, because I've had vegan yogurts, but they're usually sweetened. I don't know if I've ever had like a good, plain, tangy vegan yogurt. I think, yeah, well, I mean, there's coconut yogurt. There's coconut I, I often yogurt. use coconut yogurt, mm -hmm. but it's not, um, I think, you know, it's, it's totally up to yourself, you know, and I'm sure most vegans will have a yogurt that they, or yogurt yeah, substitute that they would use. Yes. But yeah, I, I've used yo coconut yogurt and I don't see why it wouldn't work in something like this. So That would yeah. be great. That would be perfect. Plenty of options. Perfect. Okay, I'll get rid of this bowl for you. Okay, okay. perfect. Okay. Um, and then, step three. So we are going to make the uh, salad. So here we have some barley that mm -hmm. I've cooked. And I believe on the website you said you could also substitute quinoa yep. or bulgur wheat. Bulgur wheat. Yes. yes. Plenty of options. Something you like to do there. Yes. Um, and then we have a bunch of greens. Oh, I'm spilling nice. greens. So we have mint. Yep. We have, we're going to do another translation yeah. here, <laughs> arugula for those people in the States and rocket. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, and we're going to do some more. We have some parsley here, some Italian flat leaf parsley, which I believe is the same. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know you're checking every single thing. <laughs> Uh, but then we also have some cilantro for those people in the States and coriander. Coriander, very good. For people See. abroad, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little bit excited actually about herbs yesterday because I went, we, I came home and sorry Sophie, but my whole herb garden was absolutely decimated by the heat out here. Oh, yeah. So like yeah. literally the only thing that survived was mint and the thyme had just kind of like bolted. So, mm -hmm. um, so I had to replant my entire little herb garden. I say herb garden, it's pots outside my front door. So that's, that, that counts, <laughs> that counts. That's but yeah, so I got a bit excited about like replanting all these things and uh, you have to tell me now as, as locals, yes. are my herbs going to survive the winter here? Yes, they yes. coriander. Yes. They will oh, be definitely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. Basically, you can grow anything all year round here okay. because uh, unless something that really requires a lot of heat, like tom tomatoes, yep. um, herbs will grow all year round because it doesn't get tomatoes. Bad. Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> and have I made you really self conscious about this? There. Your herbs <laughs> yeah. will grow. Oh, sorry. Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. I forgot herbs. <laughs> no, I, have, I can say herbs. That's just ridiculous. Oh, I just have to do one quick shout out. Thomas yes. Baker says hello. Hey. hey. Good to see you. Hello in London. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Good to see you. Good evening to London. I feel like I should go over to my Instagram. Just see, say hello. See hello. Who's over there? I'm gonna like pop Greetings in over. From Manitoba. Ooh. Manitoba says hello. <laughs> uh, what's a good veggie burger recipe? There's a fantastic. Oh, what the what have I got on my eyebrow? And um, there's a beetroot <laughs> burger over on my. Oh, hello. Oh, there. I, I'm in both You're of them now. Am I ruining your Instagram live? No, you are <laughs> making our Instagram live. Okay, You're invited to come back anytime you want. Uh, oh, you just got a shout out from Ireland. Hi. I got from Waterford City. Hello from oh, Waterford from City. Ireland. Hello from Bracken Hill Hoth. Um, hi, Sophie in the corner. <laughs> hi from Ireland. Hi from Ireland. Okay, great. You're all you're all having a great yeah, time. Brilliant. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> so, um, okay, so we've got the uh, roast aubergine. Yeah. We've got the pearl barley cooked. Yes. yes. Herbs. Yes, we have some herbs here, and then I'm just gonna sort of roughly chop these. Yeah. Maybe. And actually, uh, what I like to do is keep, you know, like take a little yeah. few sprigs because then, sure, sure, sure. from a food styling point of view, you want to yes. have those little oh, hits yeah. at the top. Yes. Um, okay. So I sort of, I sort of mix them together. together. This is so fun. This yeah. is so fun. Okay, so now they're sort of separated yeah. by what they are. So uh, we'll do save a couple sprigs. A few little sprigs of mint, a few little sprigs of coriander. It smells so good. Oh, I just I inhaled one up my nostril there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put that one aside. I don't think that's the one. Uh, <laughs> But right. <laughs> you're just joining. Yeah. <laughs> joining the madness. We are in Eagle Rock, California. We are. We are Husbands of Cut. We are joined by Donald Skian. Donald Skian. <laughs> we are making 
eggplant or aubergine. It's actually, it's Donald and Donald. Yeah, yes. If you're on this one, it's Donald. And Donald. This one, it's Donald. 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 And if yeah. you're on this one, it's aubergine and that one. Uh, no, sorry, right. No, aubergine, <laughs> eggplant. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Look, let's just make the food and forget about yes. <laughs> <laughs> the name. Okay. What we're trying to do. Okay, so we have a few like nice yes. little mint leaves yes, and stuff yes. that we can put over the yes. top. And, mm. and a great thing about you know with with coriander and um, you know these soft herbs, I I always people don't people throw away the stems. And it's just one of those things that like there's so much flavor in the stems, specifically coriander or cilantro. Yes. Um, you know, it's one of those things that there's so much flavor to. And if you're making a paste or if you're making, you know, something that doesn't require like pretty herbs, it's a great way of getting Keep more the flavor stems. in there. Keep the exactly. Yeah, we actually learned that recently um, from my sister-in-law. Actually, she okay. she took an Indian cooking class. Oh, very And nice. she was saying that there's so much flavor in the stems, and so since then we've been saving them. And the other thing we've been doing. Beet greens. That's right. Beet like, greens. Oh, beet greens. Yes. It's like, what? Beet <laughs> greens are apparently the exact same thing as yeah. chard. Yeah, yeah. And for years, we Delicious. threw them away. We didn't know. Okay. But now, saute them, saute them, saute them up. Yeah. It makes it perfect. Yes. It oh, does it. feel a bit weird when you're, when you, because I mean, when I've grown beetroot, because you, sometimes you can get these huge big leaves, which feel yeah. like, you know, you wouldn't even go near them. <laughs> um, yeah. And then you get, you know, these beautiful dainty ones that look gorgeous in, in yes. salads and things like that. Mm. So, I mean, yeah, they're, they're a great, great ingredient. Mm, yes, it smells so, so fresh right now. Does, doesn't it? Mm. Vibrant because you've Wonderful. got the greens and then you have the beautiful tahini yogurt. And great recipe, mm. all coming together. Uh, yeah. Donald is the best cook ever. Oh, oh, from Nanny in town. Oh, that's <laughs> very nice. So okay. right, okay. So yeah. we have um, we have yeah. we have this. We have some olive oil. We have some more lemon. Yep. Uh, yeah. Let's. let's so let's assemble. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So we've got the pearl barley. I I always think you know with and one of the things that as I mentioned with all this nesting at the moment yes. uh, is preparing things in advance and things like pearl barley or uh, brown rice or bulgur wheat or any of these sorts of grains they can be made up in advance and I'm trying to get into the habit now that I'm like back home and kind of settled for a little bit of doing a kind of batch bulk cooking session yeah, on a Sunday. I've just ordered a whole lot. In fact, I ordered stuff because now that I'm in America, you can order stuff on Amazon. It doesn't take five <laughs> weeks for it to arrive. Uh, but I ordered a whole load of Pyrex jars, uh, jars for like lunch boxes and things to keep in the fridge for things like pearl barley. One of my packages ended up with a bell jar that was completely smashed and I've now had to oh, send God. it back. But apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, all this sort of bulk and advanced cooking, these sorts of things like a salad like this, all you have to do, you don't have to worry fat right. about cooking something like this. You have your roast aubergine all made up and literally it's a case of assembly. So I, I feel like those are the meals that I get a little bit excited about where there's not too much work involved. Exactly. Well, exactly. Especially with the new baby on it, the way, you know, you're going to want to have meals that sort of are already pre-made a little bit that you can just sort of whip together. Exactly. And uh, all those jars would be good for baby food. This is very true. <laughs> very true. And I'm, he I'm hearing that's like, that's my next thing I need to start thinking about is baby food. <laughs> I mean, what I hear, it's fairly simple. You just Mush things. Mush, yeah, yeah, mush things. Boil some vegetables and mush it together. This is it. You can't go wrong. Um, so I'm kind of backwards making this, the salad dressing. Um, we've got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We've got a little bit of lemon juice. You do want to hit it with some salt and pepper in here. As yes, well? please. Um, and yeah, I think we're nearly there. It's, you know, with anything like this, it's it's just a case of assembling last minute. And it's, it's unbelievable. Well, this is you know, and it does. It's real fresh things. Um, I think you know when we made it for we actually when we had this for dinner. When was that? That was, that was like a. Years ago. I believe it was, it was May. I okay. May, yes. So like we, yeah, we haven't been invited back since then, but it's fine. <laughs> and no. He's been away. He's been out Whatever. No. He's been crying. <laughs> Sorry, live television. Live television. Live television. Live television. Been in Asia for the last few it's months. It's true. I, it's all. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Um, no, but I think you know, like when when you make it for a dinner party or something like yes. this, the reason I love it is that you have all these parts assembled. And literally, yes. when we came over, we just drizzled on the tahini, that's right. and that's it. So yes. So very very simple. Um, we've got the herbs. We've got the pearl barley. Uh, we've got a roast aubergine. Yes. Let's have let's plate. assemble. Okay. I'm just gonna do one quick brief story. Oh. So we uh, uh -oh. obviously the. Secret is out, uh, Sophie's pregnant, and they're having a baby <laughs> any day now. But when they came over in May, it was still early, and they were not telling anybody. No, it's true. And we were sort of standing in the kitchen before dinner, and we were all sort of talking, and you were saying, oh, something, something, something. Well, and then when the baby arrived, and then he stopped. <laughs> yeah. And his eyes got really wide, and he sort of looked at Sophie. Because <laughs> they weren't supposed to be telling people yet. So no, I forgot about that. <laughs> and he spilled the beans. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm, I, I should not, no one tell me secrets. Don't tell me things. Uh, I'm a disaster. <laughs> um, it yes. was hilarious. So we actually knew very early on. <laughs> yeah. We felt very lucky. <laughs> that must have been what, like twelve weeks? It was very early. It was early. Yeah, it was, it was early. early. <laughs> 
So yes, they uh, have now been are their official godfathers because of that. Right. <laughs> so we have a nice platter here. You can use any size platter you yeah. want. We're going to first put the. I'm thinking we might do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna like so. Oh. I think we'll we'll do a little spoon. Yeah. We'll just do some nice dollops across the plate. That's beautiful. And then we'll just do a little smearing action. I love it. Um, and then just do something so that you kind of get these nice Look little dollops. Swirls of. It, was there a name for this uh, dressing besides so, yogurt tahini? Yogurt, well, it's tahini yogurt essentially. Okay. But, the, but Tomer calls it uh, either tregurt or tagurt. Uh, so I, I just call it tahini yogurt because I can't yogurt. remember what he said. But Perfect. Anyway, Perfect. it works, it works. So we're just going to do some nice smears across and we have, uh, we can put a few little dollops on top. But I like the idea that you kind of, as you have a platter, you pick up all the different ingredients you've, yeah. each one has touched. Little elements of what's in here, yes. um, and then it's just a case of do it by hand. Yeah, assembling. We're all friends here. We're all friends here. <laughs> what could go wrong? Oh, these are beautifully cooked. Oh, as well. perfect. perfect. Good, good, good. Well, the Hollywood oven works one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta see this Hollywood oven before we, we finish up. And um, so, just nice little layering of your aubergine on top here. Uh, this is very symmetrical. This is the sort of thing that food stylists would be very upset. Now I have to fit these in, but with any grand. Uh, and I see Frau Kluda said, "I'm getting hungry now." Is that you, Bianca? If that's you, hello! Frau uh, what? Kluda. Frau Kluda. But I believe she, that's, if that's the person I'm thinking of, it's my friend Bianca. She's uh, in Germany. Uh, oh, and hello. we actually share a birthday, November oh. 22nd. Is oh. it the same person? A good yeah. time to have uh, been born, <laughs> apparently. It is, it is. Um, so I'm just building up the salad on top here, all looking very nice. Uh -huh. And you don't oh. matter, it doesn't matter if it gets a little bit messy, but you can see that that's this is beautiful. a dig in platter. It's something oh. that everyone can get involved with. It's you know. absolutely beautiful, and it smells incredible. It does. Good and it is, yes, hi Bianca, yeah. it's a long time no uh, talk. Hello. Um, <laughs> here we go, yeah, yeah, thank you. Photo. Thank you for joining. There we go. Okay. Husbands and Cook, I'm looking forward to seeing your posts in the future. Just started following oh, you now. Thank you, oh, Nanny and Tom. Nice to meet you. you. Yeah. That's Irish fan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So there you go. That looks oh, brilliant. Look oh my gosh, this you guys. This is gorgeous. I'm not going to tilt it, but if you see, so we have the gorgeous tahini yoga underneath. We have the eggplant. Ah. We have the salad. Oh, Brigitte, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the uh, salad on top, and it just, oh my gosh, it smells so mm. fresh. Oh, it's so does. lemony and garlicky. Yeah. And actually, that's a good uh, segue. I'll just mention, for <laughs> anybody that's interested. I see where this is going. <laughs> I think it's backwards. But oh, yeah. that says fresh. No, it says fresh. By Donald Skiing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so this is fresh by Donald Skiing. Yeah. Um, in the States, it just came out this year. Yes, it did. But in the UK, it came out uh, the year before. The year before, I know. Yeah. But um, it is available now in stores. Definitely get it. It is full of... Beautiful photography. Thank you. As you we can see, the, we made the chocolate avocado pudding from this book. It's actually on our second episode. Yes. That we did that, second and it's also ever. on our website. It is. It, it is. is beautifully photographed, by the way, and beautifully <laughs> signed. We have a signed <laughs> copy. <laughs> anyway, you can pick this up in all of the usual places, yes, Amazon indeed. and bookstores, and all of that. Uh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Live television. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything's falling down. <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, so we should try this. Yes, indeed. we should try we should. this. Yes. I did have plates. Okay. Oh, lovely plates. And for this, is, we have to taste it. We gotta taste it after all the hard work. Too taste pretty it. to eat. I mean, it is too pretty to eat, but I'm gonna just go for it anyway. Yeah, lovely, lovely. I like the fact that you you scooped up the tahini. Of course, so gotta so, yeah. get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you so much. Um, I like this. I have to say, coming down, you know, on a Friday, it's easy. cooking up a dinner where it's you've easy. done all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Here you are. Thank Sorry, you the very presentation much. isn't as well, pretty. I'm gonna give this one to Sophie. Oh, oh good. Very idea. nice have, of you. Uh, Special guest over here watching. Us. Are you gonna come over and say hello? <laughs> come over and say hello. <laughs> She's like <laughs> off the couch. Do I have? Yeah, you do. You have to come and say hello. Oh, okay. It's so big. There she is. Give her some heart. It's the family affair. <laughs> I know. So, are you hungry? I'm always hungry. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sophie's allergic to nuts, so we have to be careful that you. There's no nuts. There no nuts are no nuts. nuts. But nuts recipe. That would be a lovely addition in here. Some nuts. That would be good. <laughs> some chocolate nuts. And what about some, thank you, what about some, um, the red little, what it called? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, I should, I should go back. <laughs> what are you talking about? The little red thing. Red pellets? Pellets? No. What? Oh. Sumac. No. Curry. Yes. Paprika. <laughs> Pomegranate. Red pepper. Tomato. What are you trying to no. say? Lipstick. Pomegranate. Oh, yes. Oh, that would be yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah
pomegranates. A pop of color? That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Yeah, pomegranates. Yeah, pomegranates. Glad someone's here to help us. Thank you, Luba. Yeah, 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 y